How to perform an ultrasound leakage test on GE probes 6VTD, 6TC, and 6TC RS. Prior to testing, please review the quick start guide, GE ultrasound probe leakage testing with the BC Biomedical ULT 2000 series. This video is a demonstration and should be used for informational purposes only. It is not, nor should it be considered, a training video. Proper training must be completed before performing any of the actions depicted or described in this video. Equipment needed. ULT 2010 or ULT 2020 ultrasound leakage tester. For this demonstration, we will be using the ULT 2020. Soak tray, tube, or TD100. For this demonstration, we will be using a soak tray. ULT PC10 for soak tray, the ULT PC30 for soak tube, or the ULT PC31 for the TD100. For this demonstration, we will be using the ULT PC10 dual conductivity probe. You will also need an appropriate GE transducer adapter. Refer to this chart in the quick start guide to determine what model adapter you need, as well as if your GE probe requires the fork adapter. For this demonstration, we will be using the ULT PA30. We will also need the ULT AC10 fork adapter and the ULT SP20 splitter. The ULT SP20 splitter is only required if using the ULT AC10 fork adapter. If the fork adapter is not used, the probe adapter cable may be connected directly to the ultrasound leakage tester. We've divided your ultrasound leakage test into four easy to follow steps. Step one, fill the soak tray. When filling your soak tray, use the same cleaning agent for cleaning the ultrasound probe. You can also use tap water. Step two, connect equipment. Begin by plugging the splitter into one of the two ports on the top of your ultrasound leakage tester. You can use either port. Plug your fork adapter into one of the ports on the splitter, then plug your ultrasound leakage adapter into the other port on the splitter. Next, gently insert the fork adapter between two deflection control wheels on the ultrasound transducer until it firmly clips onto the shaft. Plug the ultrasound transducer into the adapter. The adapter should click into place. Look in your ultrasound transducer manual for OEM recommendations on connecting your transducer. Once the transducer is connected to the adapter, plug the conductivity probe into the remaining port at the top of the ultrasound leakage tester. Now all parts should be fully connected. Step 3. Insert probes into the soak tray. Start by placing your dual prong conductivity probe on the edge of the soak tray. Ensure the tips are fully inserted into the cleaning solution. Next, place your ultrasound probe into the soak tray. Step 4. Turn on the ULT and run the test. Press the button marked power on the ULT 2020. The screen should light up. If not, Check to ensure the tester either has batteries or is powered by an AC adapter. Next, verify that the ultrasound leakage tester is set to a GE ultrasound probe on the device configuration screen. The device configuration screen appears briefly as the ultrasound leakage tester is powered on and can also be viewed by pressing the mode button three times. Lastly, simply press full test to begin the test. The machine will do all the work. You just need to wait for the results. When finished, pass or fail will appear on the screen, indicating your results. If a printer is attached, the results will print off in detail along with a pass or fail. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like more information about how to perform an ultrasound leakage test on GE probes 6VTD, 6TC, and 6TCRS, please contact us at 1-314 638-3800 or email us at sales at bcgroupintl.com. For more information about our line of BC biomedical products, please visit us at www.bcgroupintl.com.